Water exhibits anomalous behaviors at certain temperatures. Most substances expand when heated and contract when cooled. Water, however, expands as it cools within a certain temperature range. Let's analyze the motion of water using the kinetic molecular theory of matter. If you were able to observe water molecules moving at 90 degrees Celsius, you would see that they move rapidly, erratically, and are spaced relatively far apart. If you decrease the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius, the molecules will be closer together because they do not have much energy. The density would increase. The molecules continue to move closer together as they approach 4 degrees Celsius. At 4 degrees Celsius, water is at its greatest density. At slightly less than 4 degrees Celsius, water molecules lose enough kinetic energy to move slowly enough that the charges between hydrogen and oxygen can have an effect on motion. The overall charge for the water molecule is neutral, but oxygen has a negative 2 charge and each hydrogen atom has a positive 1 charge. As two water molecules approach each other, the negatively charged oxygen on one molecule is attracted to one of the positively charged hydrogen ends. This attractive force causes the density of the water to decrease as the molecule loses kinetic energy from 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. A crystal structure begins to take shape at temperatures close to 0 degrees Celsius and at 0 degrees Celsius the water solidifies. The charges cause hexagonal openings between water molecules and the structure is almost that of a soccer ball. This explains why ice floats in water. Even though it is made of water molecules, it is less dense because the charge causes expansion. In water, the two electrons from the two hydrogen atoms spend more time around oxygen. This results in a separation of charge and a dipole moment. A dipole moment is the product of the distance separating opposite charges of equal magnitude and the magnitude of the charge. This leaves the hydrogen ends positive while the oxygen end is negative. This is essentially the definition of a polar molecule, a covalent bond between two atoms with different electronegativities. In covalent bonds, the electrons are shared between the atoms that make up the bond. Electronegativity is the measure of the tendency of an atom to attract electrons to itself. Oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen. The result is that water is a polar covalent bond and has a dipole moment. If water did not exhibit this behavior, pond life would have a more difficult time surviving during the winter months. The water at the surface is in direct contact with the atmosphere. The energy from the surface is transferred into the atmosphere, which causes the surface water to cool. This water is denser and sinks to the bottom of the pond, displacing the bottom layer. The water is at 4 degrees Celsius. The water at the bottom is now warmer. This water also cools, becomes denser, sinks, and displaces the layer above the bottom layer. Over time, the entire pond cools in this manner from the bottom up to 4 degrees Celsius. The surface, still exposed to the atmosphere, can now cool below 4 degrees Celsius. Since the density decreases from 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius, this water is less dense and remains at the surface. An ice slush forms first, and then a solid ice surface is formed. The water underneath the ice layer is now insulated from the atmosphere. This insulating layer only slows the cooling process. Given more time, the entire pond may freeze.